Hello children, today I am going to teach the chapter 10 Arithmetic Progression. What is Arithmetic Progression? Later I will discuss. First you should know what is sequence, elements, terms, series. A group of numbers which are arranged in a definite order following a certain rule is called a sequence. Example 2, 4, 6, 8. It is 2, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 2, 8 etc. The numbers used in a sequence are called its elements or terms. When the terms in a sequence are connected to each other by a plus sign or minus sign, then the sequence becomes series. Thus, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 etc. etc. is a series. When the elements of a series are written in a definite order following a certain rule, we get a progression. Now come to arithmetic progression. It is represented by AP. It is a sequence of numbers in which each term can be obtained by adding a certain quantity to its preceding term. So you are adding any same number with each and every number. We will get arithmetic progression. Example 4, 8, 12, 16. Now the 4 is called the first term. Now you are adding 4, it becomes 8. Again you are adding 4, 12. Again you are adding 4, 16. Here every term can be obtained by adding 4 to its preceding term. So 4 is called the first term. P1, it represents, is equal to A. Always the first term represents by small letter A. 8 is the second term. This is T2. Now T2 minus T1, 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 is the common difference. Even 12 minus 8 is 4, 16 minus 12 is 4. So this is represented by small d. So T2 minus T1 is equal to T3 minus T2 is equal to T4 minus T3 is equal to 4. This is the common difference. The T1, T2, T3 are first term, second term, third term etc. Always the first term denoted by the letter small a. Now come to the example. 18, 16, 14, 12. Here the first term is 18. The common difference is second term minus first term. T2 minus T1. 16 minus 18 is equal to minus 2. Therefore the D is equal to even T3 minus T2 also minus 2. The common difference can be positive or positive. Negative. It is not necessary. The common difference should be in positive. No, it can be negative also. What is the general term of AP? The first term is A. Common difference is D. Therefore, the general term of AP is A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, etc. Therefore, the nth term of AP is Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. For example, fifth term. Fifth term is equal to A plus 5 minus 1 into D. A plus 4D. The last term, that is the nth term, represent by L. Therefore, the, finally the answer L is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. If D is greater than 0, AP is increasing. D less than 0, AP is decreasing. Now I am going to explain many examples. Find the AP whose nth term is 2n minus 3. Nth term 2n minus 3. In the place of n, first you have to substitute 1. You are getting 2 into 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 1. This is the first term. Second term, in the place of n, substituting 2. 2, 2 is 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. And third term, in the place of n, 3. 2, 3 is 6, 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. Therefore, the A minus 1, 1, 3. Now, minus 1 is A. Now, tell me what is the common difference? Second term minus first term or third term minus second term. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 is the common difference. Next, to find the next example, find the nth term and 20th term of 9, 5, 1, minus 3, etc. Now, A, first term is 9 and common difference, 5 minus 9 is equal to minus 4. Second term minus first term. 
t2 minus t1 is equal to 5 minus 9 is equal to minus 4. Now we want 20th term. What is the general formula? a plus n minus 1 into d. In the place of a, 9. In the place of n, 20 minus 1 into minus 4. 9 plus 19 into minus 4. 9 minus 76 is equal to minus 67. This is the 20th term. The general term, nth term, you want to find out a plus n minus 1 into d. In the place of a, 9, n place, you have to write only n, n minus 1 into minus 4, 9 minus 4, n plus 4 is equal to 13 minus 4, and this is the nth term. Next example, which term of AP, 1, 4, 7, 10, etc. is 52? Now, first you have to verify whether it is AP or not. The 4 minus 1 is 3, 7 minus 4 is 3, 10 minus 7 is 3. Yes, the common difference is same. So, definitely it is in AP only. Now, what is the question? Which term is 52 ask in the question? A is 1, D is 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. The general form A plus N minus 1 into D is equal to last term or nth term. In the place of A1, N minus 1 into D place 3 is equal to 52. So by solving, you are getting n is equal to 54 minus 3 is equal to 18. Therefore, the 18th term is 52. Next, one more example now. Find the 10th term from the end of the AP. Now, this is the reversing order. From the last 10th term you want, there are two methods. The general 4, 9, 14 up to 254. Here A is 4. Common difference is 9 minus 5. Now from the last A plus N minus 1 last term is A plus N minus 1 into D. The last term here 254. You know what is A. You know what is D. But you don't know what is the N. Therefore by applying this formula 254 is equal to 4 plus N minus 1 into 5. You are getting N is equal to 51. There are 51 terms are there and 51th term is 254. Now what is the question? The 10th term from the end you want. From the end, what is the formula? N minus R plus 1th term from the beginning. So 51 term minus, you want the 10th term plus 1 term from the beginning. So 51 minus 10 plus 1 is 42nd term from the beginning. Now apply the same formula. A plus 42 minus 1 into D, you are getting 209 is the 10th term from the end. Now alternative method also I am going to teach you now. The 10th term from the end. Just you write this number in the reversing order. 4, 9, 14 up to 24. I am going to write it as 254 etc. 14, 9, 4. Now here we want the 10th term from the beginning only. Here A is 254. Now the common difference is 4 minus 9 or 9 minus 14. You are getting minus 5. Now you want the 10th term. A plus N minus 1 into D. A plus N minus 1 into D. In the 254 plus 10 minus 1 into minus 5. You are getting 209. The same answer. Here you have to remember this formula. But here, directly you have to reverse the order. Then, as usual, same procedure you have to follow. Yes, next example. Find the number of all natural numbers between 20 and 80, which are divisible by 3. The numbers are, after 20, divisible by 3 is 21, 24, 27, etc. And before 80, 78. Here, the A, first term is 21. The difference 24 minus 21 is equal to 3. The last term is 78. The same formula A plus N minus 1 into D is equal to L. L represent the last term. 21 plus N minus 1 into 3 is equal to 78. You are getting N is equal to 60 by 3 is equal to 20. Therefore, the total number of terms is equal to 20. Next example. Which term of AP, 4, 11, 18, etc. is 42 more than its 25th term? The question is, this is AP, the difference is same. And 42 more than its 25th term, you have to find which term. 
here the a is 4, d is 11 minus 4 is equal to 7. Let the nth term is 42 more than 25th term. You have to take the nth term. Apply the same formula. a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 25th term plus 42. 4 plus n minus 1 into 7 is equal to 4 plus 25 minus 1 into 7 plus 42. Solve all n you bring to your left hand side, all the numbers to your right hand side. 7n is equal to 217. n is equal to 217 by 7, 31. Therefore, the term 31st term is, the question is, the 31st, 42 more than 20. 5th term. Come to the next example. Find AP whose second term is 12 and 7th term exceeds the 4th term by 15. Second term is 12 given. That means A plus 2 minus 1 into D is equal to 12. A plus D is equal to 12. This is the first equation. Next one is the 7th term exceeds the 4th term by 15. 7th term is equal to 4th term plus 15. Apply the same formula, a plus 6d is equal to a plus 3d plus 15. 3d is equal to 15, d is equal to 15 by 3 is equal to 5. From 1 and 2, here a plus d is equal to 12, a plus 5 is equal to 12. Therefore, a is equal to 7. Therefore, a, what is the general form? a, a plus d, a plus 2d. Here, a is equal to 7. D is equal to 5, 7, 7 plus 5, 7 plus 2 into 5, etc, etc. Therefore, AP is 7, 12, 17, 22, etc. Yes, now come to the sum of n terms of AP. Now, up to that nth term you learned. Now, we are going to find out sum of n terms. Now, the derivation, yes, yes represents sum. The first term is A, second term A plus D third term a plus 2d etc. Last term is l. Therefore, the previous term is l minus d. Reverse the number s is equal to last term l, previous term l minus d, l minus 2d etc. Here a plus d, first term plus first term a plus l, second term and second term again a plus l, third term plus third term again a plus l, last term and last term again a plus l. Therefore, 2s is equal to n times a plus l. 1 time, 2 time, 3 time, etc, etc. n times are there. Therefore, 2s is equal to n into a plus l. Therefore, s is equal to n by 2 into a plus l. It is one of the formula. If you know the last term, first term and the number of terms, then sum of n terms n by 2 into a plus l. Suppose you don't know what is l. Now, you know only the uh, common difference, then you can apply L. What is L? Last term. The formula is A plus N minus 1 into D. Therefore, apply in the place of L, A plus N minus 1 into D. And uh, simplify, you are getting sum of N terms is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D. Therefore, you can use this formula if you know the last term, first term and N number of terms. And if you know the common difference and first term and number of terms, then you have to apply S is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D. Let's come for the example now. Find the sum of 20 terms of AP 5, 8, 11, 14. The first term is 5. The common difference 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Then number of terms 20. Apply this formula. S is equal to N by 2. 2a plus n minus 1 into d, 20 by 2, 2 into in the place of a, 5. n place 20 minus 1 into 3, 10 into 20 by 2, 10, 2 into 5, 10 plus 19 into 3. So 10 into 10 plus 57, 10 into 67. Therefore, the sum of 20 terms of a, p, 5, 8, 11 is 670. Yes, next example how many terms of the AP, 43, 39, 35, be taken so that their sum is 252. Now it is in the descending order, not in the increasing order. So what is D? D will be negative number. Yes, here A is equal to 43, 
D is equal to 39 minus 43 is equal to minus 4. If it is the decreasing order, definitely the common difference will be negative. Apply the formula. N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D is equal to SN. SN represent what? Sum of N terms. So, N by 2, you don't know what is N. Then A plus 43. N you don't know, but D is equal to minus 4. The sum is equal to 252. Now you can simplify, you are getting the quadratic equation 4n squared minus 19n plus 504 is equal to 0. Common 2, therefore throughout divide by 2, you are getting 2n squared minus 45n plus 252 is equal to 0. Split the middle term, 250 into 2, 24 into 21, so 2n squared minus 24n minus 2, you know the quadratic equation. So, simplify, you are getting n is equal to 12 or n is equal to 21 by 2. n is 21 by 2 means 10.5. So, you have to take the number of terms is equal to 12. Now, come to the next 